Property division in the state of Tennessee. We are an equitable property state. You've no doubt heard of community property states because since almost all movies and television shows are made in California and California is a community property state, you're going to have heard about community property. For all of us in Tennessee, don't concern yourself with that at all. And if you spent any time reading up on community property on the internet, you've wasted that time. Equitable division. That tends to be more of an Eastern concept because the Eastern portion of the United States basically comes through the Protestant church and religious theory, whereas the Western United States came through the Catholic background and they evolved with community property, split everything 50-50, in the East, we look at a more nuanced approach. And the nuanced approach is, in Tennessee, we got different types of property. Now, only within the divorce context do we have these different types of property, but they are critical in the divorce context. And what they are is marital and separate. If, if marital and separate property are the big divisions when you're figuring out who gets what. Separate property is anything that you had before the marriage or you got by gift or inheritance. Sometimes contributions, uh, you can get transmutation, you get commingling, you get a whole bunch of concepts. The big point is don't put your spouse name on the property. Don't put your spouse name on the account. If you inherit money, if you had money before you got into the marriage, keep it separate. Put only your name on it. Don't put your spouse's name on it. Don't put your kid's name on it. You can put a provision in that upon your death, it goes to so-and-so. But while you're alive, it needs to be in just your name and don't put any money you earn during the marriage into that account. Because if you do, you start commingling, and you're going to spend an awful lot of money trying to get a lawyer to fix this, we can't always fix it. Okay, so separate property, you got it separate, you keep it separate, okay? Marital property, anything that's not separate property that's acquired during the marriage is marital property. Think about it this way. We've got big old house, okay? Nice big long. We're getting ready to divorce these people and they got to divide up their stuff. So you put one tarp out for husband's property. You put one tarp out for wife's property. And then you put one tarp out for marital property. Generally, there's going to be mar more marital property than separate for either one of them, but it varies from case to case. And we'll talk about that in a minute when it comes back around. So, you go into the house, you pick up a lamp, whose is this? Oh, that's the lamp her Aunt Gertrude gave her when Aunt Gertrude died. Oh, that's her separate property, okay? Oh, what's this? Oh, this, this is my shotgun. My wife gave that to me for my birthday, okay? That's separate property, okay? What about this car here? Well, he gave me that car on my birthday because he felt really guilty that I'd caught him messing around. So I came out on my birthday and there was this big bow on the car with a card that says, this is for you, my wife. I love you forever. Okay, we got to put that Mercedes over here too. Now, this couch here, well, we bought that during the marriage. Okay, that goes here. Uh, this jewelry, well, yeah, he bought that jewelry for me during the marriage. What well, was that, did you get it on your birthday or anything like that? No, he just buy jewelry from time to time. Well, that goes in marital property, okay? These clothes, y'all buy them during the, the marriage? Yep, yep, that goes in marital property, okay? The pots and pans, oh yeah, those were bought during the marriage, so those go in the pile, except for that cornbread iron that I got from my grandmother. Okay, that goes over in, in the separate property. So what starts happening in most cases, you will have a much bigger pile of marital property 
because to some extent you're also piling into the marital property analysis retirement accounts. Uh, even though they're just in one person's name, they have marital money in them. And there's actually a way to differentiate if they were part before the marriage and after the marriage, there's a way to differentiate the marital property and the separate property. Does this all sound confusing? Yes. And there's even a lot of other stuff that I'm not telling you about. So with this big pile in the center, we're going to equitably divide it. Now, there are about a dozen plus factors to look at on how we're going to divide it. One of them is how big the piles are. Say the husband has a big pile and sitting on the top of his pile is a little bitty old bank passbook with $10 million in it. My wife just got this crummy old lamp from her mother and that car. Ooh, so his stack is much bigger than hers, so it's equitable to give her more of the joint stack than 50%. The judges generally start thinking about it 50-50, but they look at these criteria divided over that way. Okay, there's not the passbook, but husband earns $400,000 a year. Wife hadn't worked for 30 years. Well, they may address that in alimony, or they may address it in property division by just giving her a bigger chunk of the marital estate. That makes more sense when you've got some big money accounts to help do that. Ability to acquire future assets, that's another one of those criteria. So there are a bunch to look at so that you fairly divide this stack of marital property, which is usually, but not always, the biggest stack of all of them. It's, it can be confusing, it can be difficult. One of the most confusing things is finding out how big the relative stacks are. Everybody gets half, you know, even if you're, you're giving each person half the pie, you still gotta know how big the pie is. And that deals with discovery which is another section that you can watch, or it's a section uh, on our website that you can read. And the website is about divorce.com. Okay, thank you very much.